Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. I'd like to firstly apologise for not uh, coming on these last couple of weeks onto YouTube. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for them. One of them is uh, my hands are in the process of healing. So they're starting to feel a little bit better. So I can actually do more projects now. So that makes me feel really good. Um, and the second reason is because I also had... Um, a customer of mine uh, with my invitations business um, asking me to make her an assortment of cards and uh, she wanted some birthday cards and she also wanted some um, other kind of um, sentiment you know greetings cards and um, one of them that I was struggling with was a, a teenage boy one and so I thought today uh, it, it took me a long time but basically I've come up with something that's going on in my head at the moment I'm not sure if it will translate well on paper but we shall see um, so basically I'm bringing out an old Stampin' Up! stamp set that I've had in my collection for a very long time and it's the Extreme Elements one uh, I've had this for a very long time so um, I think it's perfect for teenage cards I think it still looks current so I'm going to continue to use it why not and I'm using the playful alphabet dies as well from Stampin' Up! As I've said in my previous videos I haven't got a lot of um, non Stampin' Up! stuff as yet I will be collecting things slowly as I go along um, but in the meantime I'm going to use what I have so I strongly encourage you to do the same and I hope that this design that I'm coming up with today will also help you to um, use what you have. I hope it inspires you and if you have these sets and hopefully you can make them work together. Now as I said boy cards, masculine cards I find a little bit challenging at times so I know I'm not the only one with that so I thought sometimes simple is best so here's the design I'm going to come up with and I'll show you as we go along. So what I'm using today is white cardstock, just some thick white cardstock I've got some Pacific Point uh, cardstock. Just use anything that's similar or whatever colour you choose. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to now fold and burnish the score line that I've done. This is half an A4 and scored in half again. And that makes an A6 card base. So feel free to use whatever card base you wish. This is a nice standard Australian size. I think that's in the UK as well. So And Europe same size and I've got a layering piece of white cardstock that just goes on top of that so that's just a quarter of an inch shorter than the card base itself we're going to work with this cardstock at the moment I'm just going to bring out my craft sheet uh, this just helps to keep my desk neat and I will be using some inks so the inks I'm using today are uh, Memento Tuxedo Black, Mango Melody, Pacific Point and Shaded Spruce. Feel free to use whatever colours are similar for you. So the images I'm using today are the stars, this one, this one and this one. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it so just bear with me. So I think for the big one I'm going to use Pacific Point. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go haphazard and see what happens. Okay, still. So I'll go uh, that way. And I'll just hold it down for a few seconds to make sure that the image uptakes. If it doesn't uptake 100%, I don't mind. But that actually did a really good job. And... Go here, just splotch. Wow, it's very inky. <laughs> and I'll just go there like that. It's pretty inky there. So I'll pick that ink up. And then we'll move on to the next colour. And I'm thinking of using Mango Melody next with the stars. So we'll use that one here. And the stars get rid of the blue it's pretty intense I want it to be bright so let's hope that turns out <laughs> um, now get the mango melody and we'll just pop some stars everywhere here 
it doesn't matter if it's not complete okay because it's kind of like a grungy looking stamp you don't have to worry I think that turned out pretty I like that and I clean as I go so sorry about that <laughs> doing my housekeeping and then I'm going to grab my shaded spruce I've never really worked with these colors before but I think they're fun I like it so I'll grab this one and just go like that like that and let's see a little splotch like that it doesn't matter if they overlap that's what I like about this it's you know easy going design it's not has, doesn't have to be precise in any way and my stamp fell off it's really cool here in Sydney it's cool in, in the room that I'm in at the moment so yeah things just kind of fall off just make sure I really clean that well and then I've got this image over here and I'm going to use memento tuxedo black on that And I'll just pop that like that and like that like that and one more I think on the corner there and I'll do this one this way like that so that's how that looks making it very teenagey grungy sort of thing I think you can't go wrong with grunge with teenagers and I think these images are timeless so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna really like this card in the end okay so just use whatever you have you know I'm not selling Stampin Up anymore but as I've said in previous videos that is mostly what I have unfortunately <laughs> so as I go along I'll, I'll show you new things as I go along but at the moment I have so much stuff that I really don't have the need to buy anything that makes any sense so I'm going to grab some Pacific Point cardstock and what I'd like to do is actually cut off a strip so I'm going to cut off about an inch so I'm just going to grab my trimmer and I'm going to trim off about an inch And I just did that lengthwise and I'm just going to clean my stamping track because that and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to have that across I think like that not 100% sure we'll see I'll think about that but anyway that's that's how I roll for that one and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my alphabet and I'm going to cut out happy birthday in Pacific Point so um, what I'll do off camera is I'm going to cut this out and then I shall be back just finished cutting out all of my little bits and pieces so oh geez that actually didn't turn out well so I've got to do it again must have moved when I put that through so bear with me again <laughs> I'll just cut this out whilst I'm on camera why not I must have moved as I put it through my machine so I'll put it through now again and hopefully it will not move so let's put that through again right there and cut that through Alright, sorry you had to see that, but I'm done now with the cutting. And there it is. Alright, so, pop that away. And I'm just thinking 
to myself, how am I going to do this card? Um, because I want the blue letters to kind of stand out. And that's all my letters here. So I'm kind of thinking, should I cut this diagonally like that? And have it out like that. Okay, let me have a little fiddle and then I'll be back. So I've had a little bit of a think with regards to the design and I really love this background, but I'm going to break up the busyness of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put myself a tick mark of where I want to cut like there to about there and then for this one I'll go from here to about to about there um, so I'll go from there to there and from there to there uh, and that way, that way it'll just give me like a gap there. So I'm just going to take all that off. I hope I can see my tick marks. <laughs> if not, I'll go from underneath and it makes it easier for me to um, look at that from there to there and there to there and I'll cut like that. So I'll just grab my trimmer and I'll just leave like a gap so it'll look nice and it kind of breaks up the busyness of that design as well. And you can always keep that strip and then put it on the inside if you wish as well. So so here we are, I've got one tick mark there and one, I think, there, was it? Let's make sure. Okay, so I'll go from that tick mark there to that tick mark there. And make sure it's right on the trimmer. Okay, and I'll just cut. So that's one half. So that will go like that. See, like that. And then with this part here, there's a tick mark there and there. So I'll go across there like that. So we've got that left over. Looks like a tie. So then we'll have that go from there to there like that. And then we're going to put the happy birthday in the middle of that. Okay, so that is how, <laughs> learn to spell Maria, look at that, <laughs> isn't that terrible? Um, so that's basically how I want it to look. So that's just as a rough idea of how I want it to work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick all of these down. So you'll see that all quickened up. And um, yeah, so enjoy with the music.
<laughs> putting all of those little alphabet pieces together, the die cuts. And I think that turned out really cute. So this is a close up. Um, I didn't want it to be precise. I wanted it to have like a kind of a fun, funky, um, grungy, just for a teenage boy. We're looking at 13 years old and I don't know specifics for this particular child that I'm making this for. So I thought I'd keep it kind of neutral and simple. But that's how my card looks. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I will answer your question within 24 to 48 hours, depending. Um, but it's usually around between 24 and 48 hours where I'll get back to comments. Um, I hope this encourages you to use what you have. Um, and as always, I will leave um, the names in my description below of what I used, Stampin' Up! was. And that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. Um, if you have any requests for what you'd like to see me make next, um, please feel free to um, give me that suggestion and I'll be more than happy to uh, make things that, are, that you will like to see. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.